What's up guys, B by Mass UK, Speed VR, with another video for you. So, <clears throat> you've got an Oculus Quest, or you've got a Rift S, or you've got a Rift CV1, or you've got a Vive Pro, or a Vive, or a Valve Index. You've got a VR headset. Okay, and also you've got HP Reverb G2. Okay, now even if you're let's 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 just for the video, let's take my situation. Okay, I've got the Oculus Quest 2 over link and I use it for wireless VR as well and I've got the um, HP Reverb G2 now what happens is because they're both connected at the same time if I play a Steam game let's say not a Steam game let's say I fire up iRacing okay iRacing pops up and says I've noticed you've got a VR headset do you want to use the screen or do you want to use your headset when you choose the headset not only will Windows Mixed Reality kick in but at the same time Steam VR will kick in and so will Oculus software okay so at that point you've got the Oculus software running you've got Windows Mixed Reality running and you've got Steam VR running okay and this video is all about getting the best performance and just having the software running that you need okay because contrary to what people say that's a big word for me isn't it contrary contrary <laughs> to what people say only one runtime can be used at any one time. But that's not true, and I've proved it. So what I do, um, you can't stop Steam VR from running, and you can't stop Windows Mixed Reality running, but you can stop the Oculus software from running, even if your headset is not plugged in. That software, okay, the Oculus software will start okay so here's a little tip for you I've got here um, Windows services icon and when you click on Windows services you are looking for where is it there we go you're looking for the Oculus Runtime Service and the Oculus VR Library Service. And as you can see, my Runtime Service isn't running at the moment because it's disabled. And I've disabled it permanently. Okay, unless I want to use my Rift, my Oculus Quest 2, then I have to then I have to set it back to auto. So what you do, you find the service. If it's running. You go up here and you stop it because it will say stop and restart so stop it then go to the runtime service right click go down to properties and select disabled okay you've got automatic delayed start automatic manual you must select disabled apply it then OK OK and then you go to the next one the library service and you do exactly the same it won't be running but if it is running just stop it down to properties select disabled apply OK now every time you run a Steam game 
or you run a Windows Mixed Reality game, you will not, your system will not have the overhead of the Oculus software running. And it does make a difference. Not a lot, but it definitely makes one to two free frames. One to two, yeah, between one and three frames I was seeing difference. Okay, so give it a try. If you think I'm talking shit, give it a try. If you don't see any difference, you don't see any difference. But I did. Okay, so that's it. That's today's video. Little quick tip from B Boy Mash UK Speed VR. Later.